Good morning. Oh. Little shake. I decided that I was gonna come have a little bit of alone time this morning. So I've made my coffee upstairs. I've brought a couple of things into the car that I'm going to put away because we are leaving today, um, but not for a while. Like we're gonna hang out with Kent's brother for a little bit longer. So I just thought I would have a little bit of time to myself. Now, I have not watched any Vlogmases yet this year, and it is December 3rd, so I think I'm going to put together a little playlist. I didn't bring my computer out here, but I do have my phone with me, so I might just do, you know, watch a short little portion. But something I saw, I think it was last year, um, that somebody did, I thought it was super smart, was they put together a playlist for Vlogmas, like their own personal playlist you can save on YouTube if you're signed in. And that way they could just add everyone they're watching, like they could add their Vlogmas every single day and they could just watch through their playlist without much disruption. So however much time they had, they would just watch through the playlist. And I think that's a lot easier than having to, you know, search for your favorite YouTubers every single day and find them. You can just kind of like add them as you go. And then that way, if you see something like, you know, on the sidebar, YouTube will suggest stuff. You can be like, oh, I think I want to watch them and just like add them to it. So I'm just going to start scrolling through my home screen here and like, okay, well, I want to find, I do want to watch Bethany, my friend, The Wandering Pearl. So I'm going to click on her channel because I do need to catch up. And I'm gonna find her day one here. Actually, I think she has a day, an intro video. So on her intro video, and on any video, I think you just click the three dots to the right, and it says save to playlist right here. So I'm gonna make a new playlist, a private one, or should I make it public? Do y'all wanna see what's on my Vlogmas playlist? Let me know. I might make it, I, I think I can change it from private to public. Um, I'm just gonna call it Vlogmas 2023 watch list to differentiate it from Vlogmas 2023, which is my Vlogmases. And I just have it as private, so I'll just create it. And then I can just scroll along and just add everyone's video saved to playlist at, and it's right at the top because I think YouTube knows what I'm doing here. So I'm going to sit here for a second and just add a bunch of stuff to my queue. I'm probably only going to watch maybe like a short video here this morning, but I like this tip and it's going to make uh, vlogmas watching for me happen a little more often if all I have to do is go to one playlist and just hit play. I have like a million ones to watch now, so it shouldn't be a problem. I don't think I will ever run out of vlogmases to watch, uh, but I think I'm going to start just because of time today, because I need to get back upstairs to Kent and Kyle. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna watch one of Made by Maddie's because hers is about nine minutes long. So let's get settled in and do some watching. Well, that was way too short. I cannot wait to do more of that in the days to come, but I have been working on my hexi blanket over you know, the last couple of days. And what I've been doing instead of attaching the hexies to the blanket is I've just been working them up to the fifth round. And on the fifth round, um, I'm do you do like one side of the hexi and then you start to attach it. So they all have one side. <laughs> of the hexi done. They look very goofy. And then I was able to start another one. So maybe today we're going to have some driving, although I think we'll, it'll be dark by then. Um, 
the reason I haven't been attaching them is one, sometimes I just like to do it that way because then I can just like crochet, crochet, crochet. Um, but also because I like to take pictures as I finish each hexi and it's much better to do that in the daylight when I can get an accurate representation of the color and I just haven't been like working on it during the day. Except I am right now. And I don't feel like doing it right now. So, oh well, I'm just going to keep making hexes the way that I want to. Oh, wait, I don't need this. Um, let's open up today's advent. Kent also said last night that he wants to catch up on opening his advent. Um, and then we'll have some for toaster to catch up on. So we'll see if we can get that in today. Um, I definitely want to, I don't know. It's only, uh, what is it? I'm on the fifth day of advent. It's only the fifth day of advent. It's like, it's okay if you're behind or like haven't started vlogmas yet or like not catching up. Like it's all right. We got all of December to do this. You can even go past December 25th. Like save those vlogmases, watch them. Like if you have some time off in those weeks in between or that week in between like Christmas and New Year or, you know, watch some in January when it's dark and sad outside. I mean, there's no rules. You can do whatever you want. Um, my friend Beth said, there's no advent police. <laughs> I really liked that. Okay, Toy Story we're going to save for later, of course. Hey, I actually brought the color cards today, so we're doing good. Let's open Ruby and Roses. And let's see what this color is. Ooh, fun. That one's pretty. This one is called Glowing String of Lights. Hey, I can totally see that. That is gorgeous. Let's do Schitt's Creek. This says, what if things get complicated? I actually think I do remember that scene. Oh, although I can't remember David's boyfriend's name <laughs> right now, but that's okay. What if things get complicated? Oh, that's a nice green. Very pretty. Did I just get a text? No. It sounded like a text. A homespun house. Day five. Ooh, another pink. This one's called Peppermint Pinwheel. I'm probably gonna have some audio pops on that one, Kent. Sorry. Peppermint Pinwheel. Love that. Oh, let's see. Brazos Fiberworks uh, has two things today. We're getting into our first little pouch. So let's see what's in there. Oh, it's some tea. Tazo Pumpkin Spice Chai. Yum, thank you very much. And now for the yarn. Pink pansy. So much alliteration today. So many peas. <laughs> Pink pansy. Let's do blush yarns. We're in day five and so far we've gone grayscale on this one. I think maybe we're going to start moving into color. Oh yes, we got a little blue going on here. Oh, that makes me excited to see tomorrow if maybe we're going to get into more blue, possibly. Oh, and somebody just shared, I think it was a comment on YouTube that, um, I can't remember the name of the person who shared the comment, but they said that Tony Lipsy, who's TL Yarn Crafts, takes uh, advents, like, like these ones that don't have the labels directly on the yarn. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and uh, just gets like a long strand of yarn and strings them on. So like, you know, puts them through here, just strings them on in order. So that way they're all in order, but you could technically still like throw them in a bag or something. So <clears throat> I know I keep saying every single day, I need to go get two gallons of block bags, but I think that that would be great to just have them all strung along on a string and then like tucked into the Ziploc bag. That would be great. Cause then I could actually see them all laid out and like their color, but then they would be in order. So I am so happy that person shared that tip. And also thank you, Tony, for being so brilliant and coming up with that. Chelsea Yarns day five. 
this one is going to be Lady Liberty. So do we think kind of a green? Oh yeah. Very nice. Gotta, gotta see the Statue of Liberty when you go to New York. All right. Pretty Twisted Yarns. Another orange. Really gotta see these all next to each other. Cause I think we're gonna see the subtleties of the color. And then Suburban Stitcher, day five. Especially these ones can hang all these together. That would be really fun to see how they look. Okay, let me grab my twice sheared sheep box conveniently right here. I don't know what we're gonna do when we get to Kent's mom's. That's where we're headed halfway to tonight and then we'll go the rest of the way in the morning. Um, I think we're gonna, I'm not gonna bring my advents inside. I think I'm just gonna come out to the van to open them like I am doing now. I think that will be much easier because she doesn't have a huge space and we have to bring in, you know, things we need like clothes and toiletries and stuff. So I don't wanna overwhelm the space. Oh, we have a row counter. If you haven't seen these before, they're super cool. Um, this one is the medium size, so up to a size eight, and it has stitch markers all along the way with numbers on them. So you, when you have it strung through the one, you're on row one and it's like long and dangly, but then you start to move it up. You can just like slip it, just like you slip a normal stitch marker. You just slip into the next hole um, if you're working in the round or whatever. And you can know when to count or when to, um, like what row you're on. It's especially helpful if you are doing increases or decreases or something that you have to do, oh, every eight rows. So you could, you know, just slip until you get to the eight, do the decrease and then slip back to one or even zero. There is a zero on here. And then there's also a little piece that you can um, hook on to like whatever row you need to do something special on. So if it was row eight, you would hook it on there and that would be your reminder. Super, super clever. Twice your sheep, you're coming up with all of the smart stuff. All right, I think I need to go back inside and be a part of the group, but this was really nice. I've just started on the toe decreases and I'm trying to get this sock finished and the next one cast on because we're going to the movies in like an hour. So I'm gonna edit and try to get it done. So my brother suggested this place? Yeah, when I asked him, um, where to eat last night, he said, we gave you a whole list of places to do. We only had time for one last night. He said, come here. Okay. Coffee, are you gonna get a coffee? Uh, probably not. Coffee and bakery. Show us what we got. So we got two different kinds of these little cookies. We got mocha cookies. Yummy. And Earl Grey cookies. Yeah, I'm excited about that. And we're gonna try them right now. Hold up the Earl Grey one more time. Okay, let's do a taste test. Which one do you want up first? 
one for you. Oh, thank you. Well, I guess better. That looks good. Sugary. One for you. It tastes like Earl Grey. Mm -hmm. It's good. Kind of short, ready. A little sweet. I like it. Want the other one? It's a good tea cookie. Like to have with tea. Mocha. Oh, it feels very chocolatey. Yep. And cheers and cookies again? Yes. I think I like that one. They're both good. The plan for tonight is that we're gonna drive part of the way to Orlando and then we're gonna get there tomorrow. So how many more hours are we gonna drive tonight? Like two more hours? Probably. Maybe two more hours, but we're so hungry. So we stopped at Pizza Hut because we both, without talking to each other, we're like, mm, pizza sounds good. And we're trying this thing called a melt. It looks like, here, you can show it. It kind of looks like a pizza crust, like folded over, like a half calzone kind of thing. So we're gonna sit here and eat for a second and then get back on the road. What's the verdict on the melt? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> I agree. It's like a cracker crust. We've determined. <coughs> it's not bad. It's all right. Well, I got the bed down and toasters all cozy and we were getting ready to go to bed because Kent was still playing his games and then he finished. So figured we'll end the night with our guessing game. Okay. Oh, so cute. Okay, so we're on Toy Story day five. Yep, I'm looking away. And you're gonna have to hold this though. Can you hold it, but also look away? Because yeah. we didn't, I'm not getting the other camera out at this hour. Um, Oh my God, it is so humid in Georgia. It is like 90, what did it, I'd say early in 93% humidity. Something like that. <sighs> we might have to turn our air conditioning on tonight. Anyway, Kent's looking away. Here is what the color looks like. There we go. We got quite a few colors in it today. Okay, Kent, I'm gonna turn the camera around on you now. All right. Okay, what I'm gonna guess... do you think the colors are? I just realized I didn't like put it behind me. Oh, uh, brown. Yeah, a little bit of brown. White. Yeah. Yellow. No. Red. Yes. Is that all of it? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. There's like a little tiny bit of blue, but I don't know if that's like a 
thing. Okay. Now I have to guess. Back to you. Back to me. Okay. Is it a character? Yes. Um, red, brown, and white. Red, brown, and white. And you guessed yellow. So is that Jesse? Yep. Woo! We're getting all the main people out of the way first, I think. All right. That was fast. Good, because it's time to go to bed because I got to wake up early. And tomorrow I'm going to catch up on my advents. Yes, we actually will. We're going to be in one spot for a while. Good night.